In today's video, I'm going to show you how to avoid getting scammed on meme coins. Meme coins have been popping off recently, and unfortunately, many of the times the creators of those coins have been taking the money, rug pulling, and running away. In today's video, I'll show you a tool that you can put any token address into, and it will tell you, for example, if that token is a honeypot, if it has a function built in for the devs to mint unlimited tokens, and other red flags that make it likely that the token is a scam. This won't prevent every possible way that someone could rug pull, but it will help prevent you falling prey to obvious scams. And I will actually in this video go through examples of several tokens that already rug pulled and show you how if you had run their addresses through this tool, you would have come away with red flags that hopefully would have prevented you from buying. As a reminder, nothing I say is financial advice. And in fact, since I'm going through tokens that already rug pulled, if you see this video and then you go and buy those tokens that I'm telling you are a scam, then I don't really know what to tell you. With that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so what exactly is this tool? The tool is DeFi, website is simply d.fi. And I will say this app has sponsored a video on my channel in the past, but this video is not sponsored. I just think that this tool can legitimately help a lot of people keep from losing money to scams. All right, so let's look at how you use it to detect potential scams. You go to the scanner section over here on the left, and then what this lets you do is scan any smart contract, token, or NFT. And you can see some examples of ones that have been scanned recently, the most scanned tokens, and some recent threats that were identified. And so you simply paste the token address in here, and you may be wondering, you know, how do you find this token address? And the most easy place to find it, if it's a meme coin, it's probably not even on CoinGecko yet. So you'll probably find the address here on Dex Screener. And you can type in the address of the token that you want to find. For example, say you were looking for the address for AI Doge, which was a meme coin that was popping off recently. You would type it into Dex Screener and scroll down here on the right see the token name, and then click on this copy button to copy it. And now as far as I know, this token does not have any vulnerabilities, but let's check and see. Just like this, you paste it in, you see the token pop up, you select it and it scans it. And so it says, for example, this has 84 out of 100, which is actually not bad. Uh, one medium risk item, it does say potential honeypot because it contains external calls which cannot be analyzed by the scanner and could be potentially dangerous, please use caution. So maybe you need to do a bit more research, uh, but as I'll show you, this is relatively mild for what it could detect, although the potential honeypot is of course concerning. Uh, now let's look at a few that are already known to be scams and look at how this tool could have prevented you from falling prey to them. Here's one known as Peep AI now has $20 in liquidity, market cap of nine. Yeah, I would say it's safe to say that this coin uh, did not turn out too well. Um, let's look at the contract address. So I went ahead and already searched this one. And look at this, DeFi score 16 out of 100. So remember this AI Doge had a slight medium risk vulnerability. This has two high risk items, one medium risk, five attention required, score 16 out of 100. So this one has the ability for the contract creator to mint unlimited tokens. They have the ability to blacklist wallets. So for example, the team could blacklist all wallets but theirs, allowing them to, to sell their tokens and leave. Uh, and then it also says that it's a recently deployed contract. So that automatically adds, adds some element of risk. Uh, yeah, so this, not good. If you see something like this, be very, very, very cautious. Let's look at another one. This token, SCN, fully diluted value of less than $1. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen one. And yeah, yeah, I mean, this the liquidity is gone, the market cap is zero, this coin, uh, not something you would have wanted to buy. Uh, so I took this address. And by the way, the cool thing is this uh, tool is gonna work on any chain pretty much. Uh, and so this token you would see got 62 out of 100, not quite as bad as this one, but still firmly in the red zone and they have a high risk item, which allows the contract owner to control all token holders balances. So for example, that means that they could arbitrarily change how many tokens you have and how many tokens they have, and then sell the tokens and wipe out the liquidity. 
So um, yeah, not good. And again, this one was red and we know that it turned out to not be something that you'd want to have bought. Uh, this one, debatable whether it was a, like, you know, as hard of a rug pull as these because it still has a market cap of 398, but regardless, it has completely collapsed in price and that is this WSB coin. There were several WSB coins, uh, but if you just put this one into the scanner, for example, then DeFi score zero out of 100 because they don't have verified source code. So that would tell you right there that uh, that's a red flag because because um, it's standard practice for tokens to verify their source code. Uh, I mean, look, even these scams verify their source code. Um, so yeah, th this would be one that uh, that you would have wanted to exercise caution with. And I know a lot of people, unfortunately, lost a lot of money on this coin when it when it crashed. Uh, and then finally, I wanted to show you, for example, what about Pepe, right? This one has is down a lot in price, but it still has a market cap of 647 million. It's down because it pumped a thousand X in a couple of weeks, right? It's not down because it was a scam or a rug pull. Uh, and so if you took this address again, to find the address, you go here to dexscreener.com, you search the token. And so we found Pepe. And then you scroll down here, you see the token name, you click on copy. And then you would go to the scanner and search it. I went ahead and did that ahead of time. And look, this one has a 98 out of 100. So beautiful, no orange, no red. This is what you're looking for uh, in, in an ideal ideal project, right? You know, there's a couple of things that require uh, attention, but they're not nearly as severe as as these other as these other tokens. And that's how you can use the DeFi tool to keep yourself from falling prey to honeypots and other sorts of scams. Really hope some people can use this video to keep from falling prey to some of these scam tokens. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.